the end results of your own thoughts. I was cute young when I when I first hear the biblical passage which reads as a man thinketh, so is he. I recall shaking my head thinking that could not be. How could we possibly be what we think? After all, isn't our physical self one thing and one, our private thoughts another? Little did I, or most of us then, understand that the biblical passage had hit the null of truth squarely on the hood. It would be years later, however, after much research and following the discoveries draw which modern day neuroscientists had begun to unlock the secret of the human mind that I would come to know just how correct, how scientifically correct that biblical passage have had been. In the last two decades we have learned more about the workings of the human brain that was known throughout our history prior to that time. We now know that by an incredibly complex physiological mechanism, a joint effort of body, brain and mind, we become the living results of our own doubts. Through scientific discovery, we have proved the relationship, the relationship between our own mental programming and the and the matter of whether we will succeed or fail in any end endeavor we undertake in life from something as important as a lifetime goal to something as small as what we do in a single day. Have you ever considered just how much of what you how you act, how successful you are, is depend on the conditioning, the programming you received from others, and on the conditioning you subsequently bought and kept giving yourself. Isn't virtually impossible for any of us to do anything, no matter how insignificant, without being affected by our conditioning every step you take move your your you make or word you say is affected it follows that if every actions you take and any kind is affected by prior programming then the end results of your actions are equally affected in short how successful you will be at any time is inexorably tied to the words and beliefs about yourself that you have stored in your subconscious mind and what is stored there for most of us was decided for us by someone else. Think for a moment what you may do differently tomorrow if you were someone else, someone whose programming was different from yours, or what might you do differently if you had been brought up with a completely different, more positive set and attributes and beliefs and feeling from those which you may have. Now, attitude and beliefs and feeling which is every case would assure you of having an abundance of self-belief enthusiasm and achievement what could your future hold if you had just the right kind of successful new mental program would you be doing the same thing for a living that you are doing now would you be doing your job in exactly the same way? What about your personal life? Would you change anything, improve anything? Would you have reached any more goals than you have reached? Would you have more money in the bank or more, or any more financial security than you have now? What about your day-to-day -day life? Would it be less frustrating or and more rewarding and with different preparation or condition, conditioning, what could you, your future hold? Would it be the same as uh, your future holds for you today or would, we, would it be better? What if each of every day 
each and every day from the time you were a small, a small child, you had been given an extra heaven of self-confidence, double the amount of the determination and twice the amount of beliefs in the outcome. Can you imagine what tasks you might accomplish more easily, what problems you would overcome or what goals you could reach? After all, success ultimately is up to the individual. It isn't the pen, it isn't the writer, it isn't the road, it isn't the runner that counts. Why is it then? that some accomplish nearly any task more easily than others achieve their goals more readily and live their lives more fully. Could it be that those who appear to be luckier than the rest have actually only gotten a little better programming or perhaps have learned how to erase their old negative programming and replace it with something better. After examining the philosophies, the, theory, the theories, and the practiced, uh, the practiced uh, methods of influencing human behavior, I was shocked uh, to learn the simplicity of that one small fact you will become that you think about most, your success or failure, and anything, large or small, will depend on your programming, what you accept from others, and what you say when you talk to yourself. It isn't no longer a success theory. It isn't a simple. It is a simple but powerful fact. Neither lack or nor desire has the slight, slightest thing to do with it. It makes no difference whether we believe it or no or not. The brain supply believes what you tell it most and what uh, you tell it, what you tell it about you it will create. It has no choice. At the time I first recognized that the re this one simple clue could lead to a breakdown Brick draw an individual attitude and performance. Most of what we thought we understood about the human brain was little more than speculation. Medical researchers and mind brain scientists had not yet explored or mapped the the mices of the of the brain to the extent to which they had today. Few of the brain's complex electrochemical mysteries were fully understood. Even today, the brain is only just beginning to give up, to give up its secret. Each day, each day, more progress is made and researchers had, have learned to anticipate and unite the drama of new discoveries. There was good reasons for my excitement over my own rediscovery of the ancient truth, which told us that what we think is what we become. There were tens of thousands of devout believers who through one religion or another were professing the same truth. To them, it was inevitable. I suppose that scientific research would would one day prove their claim that we control with our own mind most everything in our lives, including our health, our career, our personal relationship, and our future. But to admit it was the scientific understanding uh, of how the process worked which so innated my interest. What if I wondered we could uh, begin to understand the working of the mind so uh, drawly uh, that we could actually learn how to change or override uh, our old programming and replace it with a specific word-for-word -word new program? And what if we could do do it uh, in such a way that we could affect and improve our attitude and our behavior fast? Okay, so not to draw years of difficult study or training, but easily and simplify anything we choose to.
That is exactly what the brain will do, an understanding of that simple functions of our own personal computer. The human brain is what has been missing from most of the books and most of our motivational talks. And an understanding of that one simple requirement of our mental machinery can help us make a simple but vital change in how we accept programming from others and more importantly what we say when we talk to ourselves so let's see the three cha the chapter 3 in next video bye